Hey y'all, so a few episodes back we introduced you to friends of ours, Clint Wise and John Kalish. Both of these guys started fully volunteer, non-profit charities here in Central Florida. John founded A Hero for Kids, which provides school supplies, Christmas presents, bicycles, and many necessary items for children in need. And he doesn't show up as his typical six foot five bald head itself. Nope, he shows up as Batman. Clint founded CentralFloridaHeroCard.com, which allows people to nominate heroes from five different categories fire EMS, law enforcement, military veterans, healthcare professionals, and teachers. The selected heroes are picked up and taken to lunch at a high end restaurant, then provided with a gift bag full of swag. Clint also brings catered lunches to entire groups of heroes around Central Florida at firehouses, police stations, schools, and hospitals. Where do we come in? When Clint takes the heroes to lunch, he picks them up in an amazing convertible Audi R8 and makes them feel like VIPs. He wants us to design a head-turning wrap for the R8 with both charities' logos on it to bring attention to the amazing work that they do. Oh, and in case you forgot, when John and Clint dropped off the R8 for the wrap, they had a little surprise for me. Oh, Lord, look at this thing. What is that? This is the mini Central Florida Hero <laughs> car. <laughs> it's the same car. Hey, put that thing down. Let me take a look at this. So we would like oh, we would like an identical <laughs> wrap on no, this car. No, no. We want to take this to all the events oh, yeah, that's great. and have the kids sit in it, drive it around, maybe set up a little cone course for them to no complete. No way. That kind of thing, yeah. It's perfect. I love it, and that's a perfect idea. I think it's gonna make the whole project. This car is gonna be awesome, but if we wrap this the same way as this car, man. We're excited about it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I love it. All Great, right. good deal. Let's get to it. All right. So with a supercar like an Audi R8, we want to come up with a cool design. So this is the final design, what we ended up with. Very cool, very chunky design that's got a lot of cool red features. And this is a very much classic Audi race livery. So we're wrapping a full-size R8, but we're also getting to wrap this little mini R8 too. And uh, who doesn't like a mini me? So uh, this is a really cool project. We don't get to do this sort of thing every day. We're going to have a full-size wrap and a little mini wrap next to it. Uh, who doesn't love a mini wrap, right? So cool project. Uh, a lot of challenges involved with wrapping this little plastic car though. First of all, vinyl doesn't really stick to plastic. Vinyl is meant to stick to metal. So we might have to paint this whole thing first, get it all smoothed out, and then wrap it to match the Audi. Uh, it's a really cool sporty wrap design. Um, when they go to pick up veterans and first responders in this thing, they could freak out. Uh, and then to have the little ones to go with it is a uh, super uber bonus. Pretty cool. All right, so we're working on Clint's R8. Uh, there's a lot of prep work involved with doing one of these supercar wraps. A lot of cleaning, we gotta get all the dirt and debris off so that there's no trash under the vinyl. And they gotta take things apart. They gotta take the rear view mirrors off so that they can tuck the vinyl behind. We don't wanna have any seams on a supercar wrap. The base coat of the wrap will be done in matte black. It's a 3M2080 M22 matte deep black, which is a little bit deeper than the standard matte black. We like this extra deep uh, matte black color. It looks real good. One of 3M's most popular colors. Uh, we're doing this matte black base so that we can create a high amount of contrast between the base layer and the glossy graphics that are going over the top of the base layer. That contrast between matte and glossy is really going to make the graphic elements of this rep pop off the background. It's something that we do frequently, mixing up finishes to get that extra uh, pop of graphic presentation on the vehicle. This vehicle has many, many panels, including a hood that is nearly too big for me to wrap. Our vinyl only comes in 60 inch wide, and this hood is exactly 60 inches by 90 inches across. It's a huge hood. A lot of these sports cars have big hoods on them. There's also gonna be a lot of tricky wrapping to do on this car. You can see there's a lot of body lines. There's uh, an air splitter in the front. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be difficult. And here's that grill, and you can see it's kind of spotted. We're trying to figure out what we can do with that. So with a hard top convertible like this one, there's a lot of extra panels, body lines that come apart. So it creates a, a very unique wrap experience for us. So we really can't wrap these vents. Uh, there's hot exhaust coming out of these things. It's gonna melt my vinyl. So we're gonna have to paint them or maybe plastic dip. So where are we at now with the car? All right, well, we got the car disassembled, which is pretty much the easy part. We got it all prepped and everything sanded. Uh, I'm getting ready to finish taping it up so we can get it into paint. What was the hardest part? The hardest part about these little guys uh, is trying to get your hands up under the wheels right here to get to the screws to take certain pieces apart. 
Uh, usually once they put these things together, uh, they usually don't take them apart, but we're customizing this one, so I had to take it apart to get it to paint if we want to do it right. But when we're done with this little guy right here, it will look just like it's Big Brother in the tent. All right, now that we've got all the matte black vinyl on, it's time to start adding all the secondary graphics to it, the glossy graphics that go over the top of the matte finish. So you're getting your first glimpse now of the contrast between the matte finish and the gloss finish vinyl. Cool, racy look. The tricky part about this is that we're not just doing cut shapes and we're not just doing knifeless tape either. We're doing kind of a combination of both. Uh, the pieces are going to be cut, pre-cut to shape, but they're a little bit oversized so that we can knifeless tape them off on the body line. That will give the graphics a cool look that matches the body lines of the, the vehicle. This design is specifically designed to emulate the standard Audi race livery. When uh, an Audi car goes to a racetrack, this is the sort of graphics they do on it, on the current racing cars. He wanted it to have a real race car feel. He wanted when people saw this car to think it was a race car indeed. So that's what we went for. Uh, it's not the most original design. We're kind of borrowing from what Audi typically does on their race cars, but we've done it in a way that's really cool, very modern, geometrical shapes flowing with the body lines of the car. As Pete, Lumpy, and Anton are applying the second surface to the big Audi R8, Tim is working on the mini R8. And it's crazy to see how close Tim is getting the mini Audi to its full-size counterpart. It's literally a mini me. Clint and John are gonna freak. What's hey, up, guys? Hey, how you doing, John? Nice to see you. Good to see you, Tim. Clint, what's up, man? Good to see you again, How's man. How's it going? Awesome. You doing all right? Yes. You guys excited to see your car? We cannot wait. It's like a kid in a candy store. It's been a little just, bit of a while. It's a little yeah. time. We've had your car here. Yeah. We've been doing some crazy stuff with it. And, uh, man, awesome. whoo. Looks, I know you've seen it. Oh, yeah. So how yeah, does it I look? I just got back from out back there. I've seen it. It looks amazing. <laughs> right. We're, all, we're very it. excited. The only man. question is now, are you guys cool enough to push this car? <laughs> I don't know. I let's don't go know. check it out and let's see. Let's all do right. it. Come on. Check it out. Oh, what? My no Lord. way. Look at it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable, it's man. Something badass. That is bad. I, that I is awesome. I love it, baby. I can't it's believe tough. it. Thank you, man, baby. you said man. it was going to be good. This is great. So wow. Absolutely. Look at this. It is awesome, this man. Is well, we started with a great subject. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just, I'm Shame. at a loss for just words. Sick. Yeah, I don't. It's unbelievable. I, and the coolest thing about this is was going with that base of matte black, and then we came over top with the second surface stuff that was gloss. I mean, we could have wrapped this whole thing, printed the whole thing in one shot, sure. and then it would have been shiny black, shiny red, everything would have been in that print. But right. we decided to do the matte black. You wanted the matte black. Right. And then to add the little gloss over the top of it, man, that just makes it that much more just special. just comes alive. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Now, oh, when you perfect. said this was going to be amazing, yeah, yeah. you lied. <laughs> because <laughs> this is this is more than amazing. Isn't that, that awesome? Is, yeah, I mean, beyond what I could have hoped for, Dale. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Man, what a great, what a great design, color. too, right? Yeah, We're, all yeah. the subdued logos, everything is just. All of this stuff we couldn't necessarily wrap. So what we did was this grill surround around the front here. We actually painted that. Okay, so okay. we prepped and painted that, and then these fins. All right. So that's a great thing. We we always talk about this. So if you have the ability to offer paint, you know, so you can have this wrap, whereas the vinyl in these areas don't necessarily give us the best adhesion, sure. you know, or we would have had some seams or something. So when you can wrap this and match your paint to that wrap and just tape this off, prep this and paint this black, now all of a sudden you've got a really, really custom car. Yeah. And you know, while I'm touching this, we just moved the car inside. You can feel the heat that's coming off the engine yeah, that's yeah. right here, Absolutely, right? Yeah. Engine not up front in an R8, it's back here, right? And that thing's generating this crazy amount of heat. And like Jason said a little bit earlier, the vinyl in these heat situations might not necessarily last quite as long as we want it to. Sure. So to be able to paint this here, then you know you you know you're going to have a long-lasting solution right. for no what problems, you wanted to do. No issues. Yeah. Right, right. It just really gives you a really. You got all of our sponsors on here. Yep, this looks yep. outstanding, <laughs> man. You know, a key element about these sponsorships is that these folks have shown their willingness to partner with us, with our heroes. Sure. And we wanted them to really pop on the car. You know, Great Florida Insurance and Tony Busby and Eric Bastian with Cardinal Financial. 
you know, we've got City Lifestyle, South Orlando's, Brenda Torres, you know, her magazine, and then Weiss Prant and her group of local real estate firm. Okay. All these mm -hmm. folks have shown the community they want to they want to partner with us in what we do. And so I wanted them to be at the forefront. That's great. This, That's great. You know. Well, man, as many sponsors you have on here supporting your cause, we could just slap a number on the side and be a NASCAR <laughs> car. Man. The you car is almost is. fast enough. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I bet it is. This thing is amazing, but... Uh, what about the mini car? The mini car. Did you get to the that? Mini car. Did we forget about the mini car? I mean, come on, this is bad enough, this, right? This is, oh, it is. is without a doubt, this is bad. It is. <laughs> however, but, however, well, what's that? Without this, this is just great. <laughs> but with this, man, I can't even imagine. It's just gonna take it to a whole another level. Over Are you guys ready for this? Oh, you guys let's gonna see it, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. This was a true labor of love, man. And I do think it came out better than the uh, actual one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow. Look at that! <laughs> oh my God! That I'm is speechless. Just too much. <laughs> I'm speechless. The kids are absolutely going to love it. Tim spent a lot of time in this, but look at the details, man. The grill, everything surround. You got your mirrors detailed. The wow. back end looks just like it. All your sponsors are on there. Wow! Man, these kids are going to freak out. That is awesome. You know, when this whole thing started, the mini hero car was kind of an afterthought. But I'm glad that it came together. We kind of hit Dale from a from an angle on that and kind of threw that at him last second. And those guys just rose to the occasion. The mini car, I think, is gonna absolutely steal the show. This literally looks identical to the large car. It's just a mini hero car. The mini Central Florida hero car. That's right. Wow. So you guys have outdone yourself. You guys did, man. Thank I'm you glad so you like much, it. Man. Glad you like it. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you for all your hard work. I appreciate it. Thank you, John. Appreciate Thank it. We are I appreciate you, you man. Yes, Thank awesome. you. We are more than pleased with what you guys have done. It is just, I can't even believe it. Dale and his team did an amazing job. I mean, they don't, every day, they don't get a little tiny car to wrap, but to put that much work into that little car, that's hard. And you can, and you can hear it in their voices when they talk about that small car. Media One wrapped this. Awesome job. The wrap is absolutely phenomenal. It exceeds all of our expectations of what we could have thought this car would have looked like. We want everybody in the Central Florida area to know when they see this car what it stands for. This car stands for our community heroes, people who are willing to go far above and beyond what they have to do in serving the community and serving others. I think when people get in this car and they sit down in it and they're taken out for a fun afternoon that is honoring them and all about them and they're getting the recognition they so well deserve, when we take them out on this hero highlight experience, it's going to be all over. See that great big smile on my face. <laughs> that was good. That was fun. Definitely, definitely worth the price of admission.